Thank you for checking out Griffo Media. I'm Griffo. No racing on the channel today, but a tutorial on how you get Mario Kart RK GP2 running on a Mac or PC, and more importantly, with a racing wheel. So today, I'm going to attempt to show you, and of course, we'll leave all the links in the description to help you along the way. Uh, I'm going to use the Logitech G29 racing wheel, and for those of you who want to see how fast it runs on my iMac, Yes, that's right, it's an iMac, 3.2 gigahertz, uh, i5 core, uh, about eight mega RAM, I believe, fast enough for this game, uh, but my computer, my Mac, is running boot camp, uh, enabling Windows 10. We're running this off Windows 10. I have problems running it natively on a Mac, and that's why we're running it off Windows. So let's start the uh, tutorial here. You're gonna need a couple of things to begin with. This is the first one. It's the Dolphin Triforce emulator, which is free off their website. Uh, links and description below. Uh, 4.0315 is the version that works for me on Windows 10, and it works flawlessly as well. So if we double click into there, there's only one thing you're gonna need from this file. Uh, from the folder is the Dolphin WX, which is the application, which I'm just gonna launch there and close this one down right here. So that's it right there. You already see that I've got the ROM ready to go, which is Mario Kart Arcade GP2. Uh, that is in a folder just below here. So if I just drag that down, it's in the folder there. It's quite a big one. Obviously, there'll be no links to this, but you can find it yourselves. Uh, it's the ISO, and uh, it's nearly half a gig. Big file, uh, but there's a lot of detail in the game. So uh, let's have a look what we got here. So I've already refreshed and it's found that automatically from my desktop, but you can point it in the right direction. Right, you're gonna need a config file for this, which is already pasted in the description below. So all you need to do in this stage of the tutorial is just copy and paste it into Notepad or just copy and paste it on your mouse. So then when we edit into this file here, we'll go to properties, okay? And just below, right there, you need, don't need to do anything else with any of this. You just need to go down to Edit Config. That's the file there. And when you go into there, you can see it's already pasted in for me. You've already copied and pasted it from the description below. So you just right click and then paste. And then it'll appear there. And all you need to do is go to File and Save. And that there is your cheat codes. It'll give you 99 credits. It'll give you everything you need to launch the game in Dolphin Triforce. Simple, okay? Any questions, just ask below. Everything else, just leave as it is. You don't need anything else, and you just close that down with the X right there. So that's that. Right now, if you double-clicked on this, you'd be able to launch the game, which is brilliant. But you wanna know how to use a wheel, and you wanna know what other settings you need to do. So let's firstly go to Config, and you just wanna copy these exactly how mine are. So general, enable dual core, speed up. Uh, also the next one needs to be ticked, enable idle skipping and enable cheats, also ticked. The frame rate is auto and the only other one there which will already be done for you is the JIT recompiler. Next one, interface, all ticked. Confirm on stop, use panic handlers, on-screen display messages, all ticked. The theme is clean, that's the dolphin thing and the language is system which is basically what your Windows is doing. Audio, the top one is circled. Everything else just leave as it is. Audio back end is the X Audio 2, and uh, everything else is just like that. Important bit, this is it, GameCube. Okay, skip BIOS, ticked. Device settings, make sure this is exactly like this. So leave everything else. Slot A is memory card, slot B is nothing. SP1 is the AM baseboard, and the port one, AM baseboard also. Leave everything else. And on the Wii tick, you wanna use that PAL 60 one there, and leave everything else as it is. The path, well, you can see, that's the directory for the ROM you're gonna use. So that's how you can set that up. And of course, mine's already there. Next one is graphics. Let's take that one. You can see my graphics card showing up there, the AMD, and uh, Direct3D, auto for screen resolution. I stretch the window because I play it on a big screen and it looks great in full screen as you can see. Enhancements there, well, the resolution gets boosted up there uh, to 1280 and 1056, and uh, scaled, ticked, 
widescreen hack ticked so you can get it on the big screen hacks ignore format changes is the only one ticked there external frame buffer disable and the only ones from other needing ticking is just the one and it's the fast depth calculation easy and of course make sure you've got texture tick there this a lot of this stuff will already be ticked for you but if you want to get it working quickly then just copy my settings and you know you're doing well nothing ticked in that one close next one dsp okay it's the audio one just leave it like that saw that before obviously gamecube pad so this is the one that's going to get you working with your G29. So if you plug your G29 racing wheel into your PC directly, the device would be recognized. And you can see there, okay, in the device section, the input, it's G29, driving force racing wheel. If it doesn't appear there, just refresh and it should do. And these are the settings that you need to put into yours to get it working just like mine. So uh, everybody wants to, to, to throw the weapons and stuff with a launcher button. Obviously the pedals are all set up there. I'm not gonna go through each individual, uh, individual setting there, but maybe just take a screenshot of that on your mobile phone or on your PC or your Mac and just copy those settings exactly what they're like and you'll get it set up. You'll get the accelerator on the right, you'll get the brake in the middle, uh, you'll get uh, the coin input on the start button. Um, everything will just be set up just like it's supposed to be in the arcade. And you'll get to throw the weapons with uh, the little gear changer on the right-hand side. Or you can swap it to the left if need be. But those are the settings, guys, you need for your driving wheel. And then you can play the game. That is it. So any comments, just question below. Always appreciate that. Give this video a like if you found it helpful. If you didn't find it helpful, obviously, if you leave a comment, I will try and point you in the right direction. Uh, in the description below, you'll get all the links to what you need. Guys, thanks for watching the channel.